Hey there, this is Ruth Rowland with a fiddle tutorial for Midnight on the Water by Luke Thomason. In this video, we'll learn how to play the basic tune, and then we'll customize it to make it our own. But in between, we'll learn how to play entire phrases on a single string so that we can add drones on a neighboring string. We'll even talk about cross-tuning, that is, tuning our instrument differently from how it's usually tuned. Now you may have noticed that this is a Team C's video. Team C's is a group of YouTube community members who have committed to raising $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of plastic trash from our oceans, rivers, and beaches. Visit the link below, teamseas.org, for more info. But first, let's dive in to Midnight on the Water. Midnight on the Water is in the key of D. I'll be using the listen and repeat method, and you're welcome to learn by ear. But there's also free sheet music linked below, so you can print that off and follow along if that would be helpful to you. Make sure your instrument is in tune, and then repeat after me. Now starting on the A. Good. Now let's put those two bits together. Ready, go. Good. If you're following along with the music, you'll notice this piece uses swing eighth notes. They look like regular eighth notes, but they're played a little bit differently. Just do what I do. I have a video about swing eight if you're interested. There are times when I am blue thinking of you and me of midnight on the water and how it used to be. The lyrics suggest a relationship that's changed but it could just as well be about the water itself which is not how it used to be. Watch to the end to get some major tips about reducing plastic use. Picking up right where we left off. On the second finger on the D string. Again, listen. This interval is called a six, and the way you play it is whatever finger you have on the lower string, you do the next higher finger on the next higher string. So this starts on D2, and the second note is A3. That's a sixth. Listen again. And going on. Great. Now, starting on the open A.
Good. Now going back to the sixth. Right there. Right now, putting the whole first section together, starting one, two, three, play. That section repeats, and now Time for Team C's tip number one. Only around 9% of all plastic gets recycled. We should do our best to recycle more, but we should also help out by reducing and reusing plastic as much as we can. One way is by carrying a water bottle. This one's been around the block. They even sell some with filters inside so you can fill up at any water source. Another way is to visit coffee shops that will fill your travel mug or give you a ceramic mug instead of a disposable cup. United by Blue sells metal straws and cutlery. United by Blue also sells slings for your water bottle, so it's not such a pain to carry around. I did put a link to them below. It's not an affiliate link. They're not paying me. I love what they do. They remove a pound of plastic trash from our waterways for every purchase. And now to the next section. Starting on the first finger on the A string. Good. Now starting right on that third finger on the A string. Now let's put those parts together. Next part starts on A3.
Good. Now starting right there on that F sharp, the first finger on the E string. Good. Starting right there where we left off on that A3. Now let's put those parts together. Just follow along as well as you can and skip back if you need a refresher. Ready, go. And that's all the new material in the second part. The rest of it goes like this. Which we already learned. We'll put this all together when you see the options for bowings and extra little known customization options. But the picture was broken by the waves we left behind. I just learned from NationalGeographic.com that about 8 million tons of plastic waste escape into the ocean every year. That's 16 billion pounds. That's like five garbage bags full of trash on each foot of coastline around the world. Team Seas is aiming to remove almost an entire one of those bags from each foot of coastline worldwide. So what I want you to do when I give the signal, open TeamSeas.org in another tab. Donate whatever is comfortable for you, $5, $20, anything is good. And then come back here and learn how to play entire phrases on one string. Ready for the signal? It's the Team C's logo, a wave. The first step to playing entire phrases on one string is just to slide up and down the fingerboard. Just practice this. And now, Put your second finger on the D string, maybe, and slide up and down. Up is toward your face, <laughs> down is toward the scroll. And your third finger on the A string. 
good. All right, now let's add the bow. These are called ghost slides. Because they sound ghostly. Let's do the opening. Only instead of playing open A, we're going to slide our second finger to the A sound. Let's do two of these and then slide. Ready? Ready, go. It's kind of fun. So when we went to the open A, we did one step up from open A and then back down. So one step up from second finger is going to be the third finger. Good. And then we slide back down. and practice the ghost slides and practice this a little bit some more if you need it. But what comes next is really exciting. Put your third finger lightly on the string and then slide up until you reach the note. And that note whistles. It's, it's a really nice clear sound, whereas before you get to that spot, You can hear the difference, right? Before you get to that spot, it's kind of hoarse. So... These fingerings are the exact same ones that we used on the A string. So that's lucky. And then we're going to put our second finger on the string and slide back to the A. Remember the A? Sounds a little miserable, but eventually you'll be confident enough to let that slide disappear. And then back down to home base. I'll count you in in case you want to play along. One, two, three, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, slide, slide. Put your third finger down. Put your second finger down. Slide. Very good. Very good. It's really only the middle section of the second part that has any new sliding. So let's start there. But first I want to ask you to hit that like button if you're enjoying this video and learning stuff. The part that starts like this.
For that part, we want an open E drone. So we're going to stay on the A string. We put the second finger down and slide up to that note we just played. I'll show you from the other angle. And just like when we did this on the D string, when we did this with the open E, we, we put down one finger. Since we're on the second finger, we're going to put down the third finger. And just touch that whistle spike. Don't have to press. And now put down the third finger and slide back to home base. So that's all about playing those lines on a single string. Time for Team C's tip number two. Use your own bags at the grocery store. You can even get little mesh produce bags. A friend of mine gave me this bag. I think it's made of recycled plastic. This particular bag snaps to itself. So it's nice and compact even without the bag. It unfolds into quite a decent size grocery bag like so. You could even save and reuse old grocery bags from the store. I just keep some of those in the back of my car in case I get the random urge to go grocery shopping. That was tip number two. On to customizing the tune with drones and bowings. The first bowing I like to put in Midnight on the Water reminds me of the rocking of a boat. Hook these first few F sharps, the D2s, together. <laughs> It's so beautiful, and it's even better with a drone. I can put my first finger on the G string and have an appropriate drone for the chord. Mark O'Connor even does some deliberate rocking. It's just so peaceful. If we want a deeper drone, a drone that can last all the way through that first section, we can tune the G string down to D3. And then it sounds like this. Beautiful. You have to be really careful with the G string when you tune it down that low because if you bow too hard on it, it will go even more out of tune. Luckily, you only want a delicate touch because otherwise it will overpower the melody. So other than those hooks at the beginning, I like to slur a lot of notes. I just put in slurs all over the place. It just feels so much more peaceful and I like this as a peaceful song rather than which sounds more like a jaunty tune. I like a nostalgic feel for Midnight on the Water. Other customizations you can do with this piece include mordants where you just tap this string with the next higher finger and grace notes. In this piece it's nice to just play the previous note a little bit too long, past the bow change, like this. Those notes are written as teeny tiny notes on the sheet music. According to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by the year 2050, which leads us to Team C's tip number three. Buy your food in bulk. So take your own containers if possible and fill them with food from the bulk bin. And if you can't do that, buy your snacks and yogurt and whatever else in large containers and portion them out at home instead of buying the individual plastic containers and plastic snack bags. Then wash out the yogurt containers 
to put leftovers in. This may be a little out there. You can even take them to restaurants to bring your restaurant leftovers home. Let's see what we have here for Midnight on the Water. (laughs) 